Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Uh, I'm making quite a mess here today. Now I'm doing Tricorn Black by Color to Go, Sherwin Williams, and it just makes a big mess. But you know what? It turns out to be a really pretty creation with this color. So I've had a lot of success with Tricorn Black. Head on over to Sherwin Williams, pick it up. It's a really cool base. There is no silicone, there's no water, there's no glue. It's an 8 by 16 canvas. And uh, the colors I have here are Brilliant Purple by Liquid Text, Liquid Text Basics. Oh, then I, I have. Wait a minute, I was looking at the wrong one, right here. Then okay. I have Golden by uh, Teal by Golden, Aubergine, which is Color Art Primary Elements, Quinacridone Magenta by Golden, Sea Glass Color Art Primary Elements, Amsterdam Azo Yellow. I have African Jade uh, Color Art Primary Elements. Apple Rose by Color Primary Elements, Golden Pyroli Orange, and 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. So, I want to use up some of these paints. So, what I'm going to do here is, I better do it like this. Otherwise, I'm going to go backwards. So this is my teal. that I'm laying down first. Oh, that was teal? Yeah, this is teal. Oh, okay. Why, well, what did you think it was? <laughs> no, I just ha didn't have that written down. Phil. I know. By the way, all these colors will be in the description box if I can get them right. This is aubergine. This is my uh, Brilliant Purple by Liquitech Basics. I love that color, but I, it doesn't strike me as purple. It's more like a violet, yes. actually. Yes. This is quinacridone magenta. Like I said, I want to use up these paints. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. This is sea glass by Color Art. It's a beautiful green color. Azo Yellow by Amsterdam. And if you want to know the recipe, just go to recipe number 478. And uh, it's it'll, video. Tell you, yeah, it'll tell you exactly how I mix my paints. And uh, they're all the same. My pigments, my paints, the fluid, it's all the same recipe. Yes, yeah, so it's video 478. And there's a direct link in the description box to get to that video. You have to scroll all the way down because it's at the end of the video, the description box. A lot of people can't find it. It's all the way at the bottom. Well, it's underneath the video. Correct. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few colors in here. That's what I want to do. Well, okay. <laughs> Just a few. I'll lose some of it anyway, so. I think I want to put just a little bit over here, maybe. Not much. What do you think? That's a good though? idea. I'll tell you, these black bases really make for a uh, striking background. They really and do. And it really pops the colors of the paints you're putting down. Yeah, it does. I know you're not well, I, too well, sure about gonna, this aubergine, no, but I got to have just a tad of it, Phil. I'm worried that the aubergine is going to darken it too much, but she's we'll one see. of my favorite colors. I know. I, you know what? I have some unsolicited advice. Oh, no. 
I know you're the artist and uh, I just babble on, but I would love to see some of that orange in those two that you're doing okay. on the corners. Okay, we can do that. It's Cause, only paint. Because when you use a black base, the more bright, vibrant colors you can get on there uh, really is, I think, the way to go. How is that, Phil? Oh, it just tickles me pink. Orange. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pointing by Kathleen Miller. You can post your own creations, which is really cool. Uh, you can ask questions, make comments. There's okay. a lot of wonderful artists out there that do all types of creations with all types of techniques. You can learn just so much by just watching the videos that uh, these artists are posting to Kathy's Facebook group. There's a direct link in the description box to become a member of Kathy's Facebook group. And also there's a link to be to subscribe to Kathy's YouTube channel, which contains over 700 videos that she's done over the years. Okay. So. Now that you've got your cell activator there, right? This is my cell activator, Oxide Black and Australian Floetrol. We're gonna see what we get here. I don't know, Phil. Well. We'll see. I'm hoping. Okay. Got a lot Starting going to get on some here. Nice different color cells popping. I can hear the rain, Phil. Yes, it's supposed to rain all day today. Oh, great. Good day to be painting. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. Using the smaller right. spatula, palette knife. So I'm thinking I might want to leave just a little bit of paint undone. Yes. Oh yes, on a black base, if you can have some negative space, that really helps to enhance the creation. Wow, just lots of wonderful cells. Very bright coloration. Look at that. I'm glad you're not doing this, Phil, because you would have it fit with all this paint all over your hands. Look at my aubergine coming up through it, Phil. Oh, yeah. Boy, I'm glad you used that color. <laughs> but, look you at are. My, but look at my orange. Oh, my I know it. Oh, yeah, my orange. We're going to start having a competition here. Whose color is better? <laughs> I know the fans are going to vote for you, Phil. Yeah, right. They're going to go, yep, we like Phil's idea with pet orange. That's okay, too. That's okay, Phil. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I got a mess of rye going over here. Yeah, we picked up the aubergine, the orange, the yellow. What is that? The teal. Lots of wonderful colors. Ooh, look at all of our colors. Yes. Ooh, baby. Baby, baby. Okay, let's do this here. Look at those colors under there. Yep. It's... Oh, 
fell. Oh. Hmm. You're gonna have the table on the floor. <laughs> I almost fell over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a little enhancing here. Now we're gonna spin it out. All right. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's oh, pretty that cool. Is really sharp. That's really cool. <clears throat> I'm loving sharp. this. I'll tell you that aubergine that I was really worried about <laughs> really shows up very nicely. This is pretty darn cool. You got uh, that area there. I'm telling you, Phil. Can, aubergine came through for can me. Can you turn that side to the bottom? Just, this side? Yes. There oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. This is really pretty. It is. It's it's so different. It just, it's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain what I see, but it's just like it all is just like floating into the middle. And the, the um, do you have your phone up here so I can show them the, uh, the sparkle? It's just so pretty. Well, to me, it's like um, sort of like flowing lava. Yeah, it, it's it's so cool. I love how the look at the glitz. I can hold it. Look at this glitz in here. Oh yes! Wow. I mean, it's so pretty. That's the thing. Look at the sparkle. Yes, you don't see that um, oh, wow. unless you're. Really, really right here. It's so pretty. That's when I said, oh, it's just like, it's just like something floating. <laughs> you, you, gotta, you can't go in front of the camera. No. <laughs> uh, Look at this. Yes. Just super sparkly. It's like something floating. I can't, I just can't explain it. It's so, so pretty. Well, even though it has some bold colors, the the black background kind of... Um, it just sets everything off. Yeah, sets it off. But it's not gaudy. No. It's... Spent. I love this. I absolutely... Oh, I'm in seventh heaven. Now I can rain all day. I don't care. <laughs> this is pretty. If you like it, everybody, give me a thumbs up. You can always tell when I really, really like something because... When I said to Phil, I want to do a black base, he was very hesitant. He goes, oh, he kind of does that like I do it with brown. And then 
when it turns out it's like, whoa, just like with the Abergene. I could, I could just visualize it. I knew it was just going to stand out. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends. And uh, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. And uh, until the next time, everybody, i got to go wash the paint off my hands. I'll see you all later, alligators. Love you all. Bye. Take an overall view. Here I've got the bold against the subtle.